Want to get rid of your background but don't have a green or blue screen? Me neither. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so as you can see, the quality got a lot worse, but that is because I am streaming straight from my camera, straight to OBS. So I am not using a 4K capture card, which I should get because it makes the camera look a whole lot better. Uh, but first of all, the, the only requirement you need right here is any graphics card over a 2060, the RTX 2060. Now, if you don't know what that means, I'll show you how to find out what kind of graphics card you are running. If you bring up a task manager, I'll show you that right here, right here up in the task manager, go to performance, go to GPU right here, right? And now when you click on GPU, see this right here, I have a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. So any graphics card that starts with the letters RTX, NVIDIA GeForce RTX, you will be able to do this. First things first, which is what I want to do, I'll leave the link down below. You want to download an app called NVIDIA Broadcast. Now, when you first open up NVIDIA Broadcast, it'll come up like this, as you see. But what you want to do is go right here to this tab that says camera. And when you go to camera, there I am. Hello, me. How you doing? And then right here from this drop down menu, you can select whatever camera you're using, whichever device you're using. It could even be your iPhone, whatever you want it to be. Uh, and select your camera. As for me, the case is a ZVE10. The reason why is on uh, 1280 by 720 is because like i said i don't have a 4k capture card but i'm really considering buying one uh to make the camera look a whole lot better as you see this image is grayed out and this one that you know you see me on is a lot you know more colorful and i'll show you how to do that in a second also so what you're going to want to do is right over here are the effects see right here i have background blur you ready for this look how awesome that is instant background blur and i can adjust the strength See, that looks totally fake, but this, let's bring it down here, looks very believable. Looks like, you know, I have this built into my camera, which I do, and I'm not using that effect right now. Uh, there's also performance mode, so it helps out your performance better. But as you see right now, I'm using quality, and it looks phenomenal. Uh, there's also a background removal. See that? They have a background removal, but it doesn't look as good as I'd like it to look. So I'll show you a better way to do it, but... I can't lie, it does look great. Just right over here, look at that. Look, just, I'm just looking straight at the camera, playing a game, let's say. Look at that. It looks perfect. You can see me perfectly in there. Uh, or you can go straight to, uh, there's another effect called auto frame, which I like a lot. And you can zoom it in, and now watch this. Anywhere my head goes, it will follow me. It's a little slow, but, I mean, it works. It keeps me automatically in the frame, which is awesome. Background replacement. Now, this one I love a lot. Now, as soon as you put it on, it's going to be a different background. But what I did was that it's went on Google and typed in a blue picture. And now I have a blue picture here. The reason why I like using blue screens is because I think it's a better option to use a blue screen than a green screen. Always looks better to me, uh, especially in real life. You know, my real green screen leaves the ugly, like, green rings around me. But this works perfectly fine. Uh, but as you see, this is a blue screen right here. And now once I bring up OBS, now in OBS, what you're gonna wanna do, create a new one and go to, I'll, I'll just create a new one right here. Uh, I will go to video capture device. Let's name this webcam test. And then now instead of clicking your camera, go down to camera and video broadcast. And there I am again. And now here I am, two different versions of me, a different variant. Okay, to make things easier, I put it on my main webcam. And now what you want to do is go to chroma key right here and hit select color and uh, do a custom color. You can do custom, hit select color, pick screen color. Now I pick that exact blue. And now ready for this, once I allow it to work, look at that. Screen is completely gone. So this is how you can remove your background, get the whole green screen or blue screen effect, whatever you want. Look at this. So how good it looks, looks so much better than all the other things that I've seen online. It looks fantastic. And if you're playing a game, you know, if you're in the corner or whatever, you're playing a game, nobody will even be able to tell that you have a fake blue screen or green screen. It'll look fantastic the same way a real one does. And, you know, the real ones are cheap. They're very cheap. I think I'm pretty sure I got this one for like 30 bucks or whatever. But uh, the problem is it takes up so much space in my room. It's so annoying. Uh, but this is how you get it. Totally for free. If you have one of these graphics cards, I know the graphics card shortage is kind of crazy, but I know a lot of people still have 
2060s, 2080s, 2070s. So if you have one of these cards, do not forget to do this. It's so awesome, so easy, so simple. It's free, and it's something I didn't know about till I, I've been using it since a few months. Because uh, I'll use my actual green screen, blue screen, and I will also use this effect on top of it to make it look a little better. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have a good one, I hope I helped.